Hi, this is Val from MemoirHelper.com. I'm so glad you've decided to try our online memoir software. Before you begin, I've got a few things I want to show you to make sure you get the most out of your one month trial. So first, let me explain the difference between MemoirHelper.com and MemoirWorkbook.com. MemoirHelper.com is our blog. It's loaded with free tips, tools, and ideas on the topic of preserving life stories. You'll want to check that out. MemoirWorkbook.com is the memoir writing software that you're about to try. So let me show you a little bit about getting started with the software. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account. I know some of you may be a little hesitant to do this, so we don't ask for much information, but it is the only way that the software will function. So for your first and last name, you'll enter the name you want displayed as the author on this project. Create a username for your login, enter your email address, and then create a solid password. You have to enter the password twice to make sure you type it right, and then make sure you record it wherever you keep your passwords. You can click on this link to read the terms of service, and then put a check in this checkbox. Now click create your account, and here we are on your project dashboard. You'll eventually use just about everything on this page, but most of the time you're going to spend working in topics and questions. So when you click on topics and questions for the first time, just the first time, you'll see a list of all of our pre-installed topics. Here you can decide whether to use some, all, or none of the topics. In MemoirWorkbook.com, your topics actually become your chapters. The questions are simply memory prompts or subtopics within your chapters, and you decide later whether or not you want to include those subheadings or questions within your actual book. If you don't want to use any of our pre-installed topics and questions, simply click on this Hide All Topics button. You'll click OK to confirm your choice, and that will take you to the topics page where you can get started. We'll get to that after I go through the other options on this initial setup. If you think you would like to use some of our topics and questions, but don't want to take the time to decide right now, you'll just click the checkbox next to Select All, make sure everything's selected, and then click Use Selected Topics and Questions. You'll have to click OK to confirm that, and then you'll be taken to the Topics page. So the last option on this page is to look through this list of topics and choose the ones you wish to include. So when you put a check next to any topic, it automatically selects all of our pre-installed questions for that topic. However, you can choose which ones to include by clicking View Select Questions next to each topic name. And then you'll see a list of questions and you can unselect any that you do not wish to include in your project. Okay, don't worry too much about getting this step just right because you can always hide or restore any of the topics or questions later. However, it's probably best to err on the side of including too many topics rather than too few. All right, once you're finished making your selections, click on the Use Selected Topics and Questions button. There is one button at the top and one at the bottom of the list. It doesn't matter which one you use. Click OK to confirm. And so now that you've completed the initial setup, you'll end up on the Topics page of your project. From now on, whenever you click the Topics and Questions block from your dashboard or from the sidebar, this is what you'll see. If you have selected some topics in the previous step, they will be listed here. If you want to add any of your own topics, click Add Topic here. Type the topic name in the box that appears and click Add. The topic's going to be down here at the bottom of your list. There is a separate video tutorial on how to rearrange your topics. It's very easy to do, and it's also covered in the user manual. Okay, now to start writing. Click on any topic name. This is the questions page. You'll see any questions that are associated with this topic. And if you added the topic, you'll need to add at least one question before you start writing. So you can click Add Question here. Again, when I say question, it can be just it can be a question or it can be a subtopic heading of any type to remind you of what you want to write about in that section. 
Okay, when you click on the question, you end up here on the writing page. On the left side, you'll see a list of all the questions associated with this topic. And on the right side, you'll see the current question that you're working on in this light blue box right above the writing box. Just click in the writing box and start typing. You will want to click this red Save Your Work button fairly often to avoid accidentally losing any of your work. If you try to go to another question or another page without saving your work, you should see a warning pop up that gives you the chance to go back and save. But I say just get in the habit of hitting that button often. When you're ready for another question, click on Save Your Work. Make sure you notice the little success message up here. And then click another question over here. You'll notice now that question is above the writing box and you carry on this way until you're ready to switch topics or end for the day. If you want to switch topics, click on topics here or over in the sidebar or you can click home to get back to your project dashboard. Anytime you wish to return to your project, you can click right here on the last saved answer link. You'll also find this above the blocks on your project dashboard. And that'll take you right back to where you left off with your writing. Okay, that should get you started, but I encourage you to check out the user manual and the rest of the tutorials when you have time. So go ahead now and create your account. And don't forget to check your email for your welcome kit. Best of luck and don't hesitate to reach out to us if there's anything you need. Thanks.